twin Voyager spacecraft were launched in 1977 on a mission to go boldly where no human or machine had gone before on a tour through the outer solar system. They were each equipped with a gold record containing sights and sounds of Earth, including the smack of a kiss for whomever or whatever was out there. As they hopscotched along a rare alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus, the Voyagers provided a movable feast of discovery, sulfur volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io, the methane slush atmosphere of Saturn's moon Titan, the 27 moons of Uranus, and then Neptune. The Voyager crew had special reason to look forward to Triton, Neptune's largest moon, and one of the brightest and coldest objects in the solar system. Triton is the only big moon that goes around its planet backwards, in the opposite direction of Neptune's rotation. Astronomers have concluded that Neptune kidnapped Triton from the Kuiper Belt, a distant halo of icy worlds and other debris, ruled by Triton's long-lost and slightly smaller brother, Pluto, the once and perhaps future planet. Triton did not disappoint. As Voyager 2 whizzed past, Voyager mapped an icy landscape stretched and wrinkled by water volcanoes. It glimpsed geysers of nitrogen and patches of surface that looked like a cantaloupe. Some think there might be an ocean hidden underneath Triton's patterned crust. If there is water, could there also be life so far from the sun? NASA's New Horizons probe will visit Pluto next summer. Voyager 2, meanwhile, is headed toward the stars on its never-ending tour. A vagabond emissary from a pale blue dot now dwindling in the rearview mirror. <laughs>